but coming to the half time, losing one nil the way they scored the goal, I have to say that is embarrassing. Um, today in football, to concede um, to give a penalty like that, and after the, the VAR didn't take that penalty, um, we cannot understand. It's difficult, really, to understand. I, I will not say nothing more because after uh, will be will be uh, will be difficult for me, and I don't want to create more problems. For me, but it's, it's clear, difficult, or almost impossible to understand um, that, that penalty. I know what I'm going to listen the next, the next few days, that it was a harsh decision, OK? When, when, when Darren touched the ball, he started to, to dive himself, and after he touched with the left leg in, 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 in Issa, they are going to say that is harsh, but the referee gave, and after the VAR cannot take. OK, it's always the same, the same conversation. Um, and this is almost impossible for us to understand that, that decision. But I didn't speak with the, the referee uh, in the end of the match or even the half-time. I had some words with the, with the Ford official, but not with the referee. Marco, did um, Issa tell you that he made any kind of contact because we looked at the replay and it looked very minimal? <laughs> very minimal. Okay. Uh, Issa can, of course, Issa told me that is clear, not penalty. Um, and of course, I, I, even I can tell you that Issa spoke with the, the, the referee during the second half, and I know what the referee said to Issa uh, as well. For us, it's clear not penalty, and um, should the VAR um, took that penalty or not, not allow that, uh, that decision to go from, from the referee, the, the referee gave a mistake, and VAR is there to, to, take, that decision, uh, to take that decision and to not allow the, the, the penalty to go on. That is clear for me.